Hi guys, are slow internet speed or network congestion holding you back? It is time to unleash the potential of your network. Join us today as we dive into the exciting world of the fiber optic technology and I'll show you how to build a lightning fast fiber optic network using just two fiber switches and we'll take you through the process of setting up a reliable and efficient fiber optic network which can significantly enhance your data transfer speed and network performance and if you have any trouble with your system design please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below send us a simple drawing or a diagram and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you so the fiber optic network offers several advantages over traditional copper-based network. It has much higher bandwidth capacity and can carry significantly more data at a higher speed over a longer distance. The improved reliability makes the fiber optic the preferred choice for high-performance data transmission and communication systems. And therefore, nowadays in many regions around the world, telecommunication companies or internet service providers are investing in the fiber optic infrastructure to deliver usual fast broadband communication directly to people's homes, businesses, or institutions. And now let's move on to the demonstration board and I will show you the setup for today. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. As you can see, we have two types of switch at each side and we are going to connect them using the 100 meter pre-made fiber optic cable. And at the end, we're also going to connect with an IP camera and a wireless access point. So let's talk about this switch. This is actually the managed fiber ethernet switch. It can enable installers to obtain long distance fiber with the high speed network for installing multiple IP devices. So when a network becomes more complex, a higher level of management is required. That's why we need to use a managed switch to create a fully optimized network to achieve more than basic needs. Now, this one has eight 1000 megabit RJ45 Ethernet port and another eight 1000 megabit SFP fiber slot ports. And those two are the one gigabit SFP fiber uplink port. So with all those ports, it is actually a nice choice to use at a central point, such as the data sentry or a monitor room. And over this side, we have the 8-port WebSmart PoE switch with 2 gigabit SFP slot. It can provide efficient management and a convenient maintenance for PoE network systems using easy installation. It is also compiled with IEEE AO 2.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. It has up to 30 watts of power per port and 120 watts of total power budget. So this is perfect to build a PoE network system for home or business, enable high performance network and stable transmission to supply IP devices. Since it has the PoE feature, so we only use a single ethernet cable to power up our edge device and eliminating the need for a separate power unit. And without saying, let's do the connection together. So first let's use a short patch cord here to connect the main network router with our NVR. And the video will show up later on after we connect it with the IP camera. And now we are going to connect the router using the ethernet cable with our fiber switch here. We can basically plug into any of the ports. And let me power it up first. And we can see the indicated lights are getting on. Those are for the fiber optic cable. And this is the SFP transceiver. And this is where you connect with the fiber optic cable. And this is usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of connector that you use. Let me plug it in here. Those are the gigabit SFP slots. 
and this is a pre-made fiber optic cable so we don't need to have worry about the connector and it's 100% tested in the factory let me use string A and plug it in here it's already been plugged and you can see we also have a lot of ports available here so you can connect with multiple fiber switch this is the 100 meter fiber optic cable so over this side, we have the 8-port WebSmart PoE switch. Let me power it up first. And you can see the indicator lights are on. And this is the SFP transceiver. Let's plug it in here to connect with our fiber switch. Remember, we use string A, which is this one, and string B is for spare use. Here we go. And now I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect with the IP camera. And as you can see, the indicated light is already on. It's been powered up. And let's connect the wireless access point using another Ethernet cable here. Let's plug it in. And we can see the indicated lights are also getting on. All we need to use is a single Ethernet cable because this is a WebSmart PoE switch. And the camera is already getting the images. Let me show you. This is a live video by waving my hands here. And the whole setup is done. We already connect two fiber switch using the fiber optic cable. So those managed switches are suitable for small to medium home or office sites. Now those switch can provide the administrators with advanced feature and control over the network. It allows for greater flexibility in configuring and prioritizing network traffic. Also implementing quality of service policy and creating virtual LANs to segment the network. This managed switch are able to provide multiple fiber links over a single device so it has convenient installation and also safe space and centralized the management. And also keep in mind of the power budget of the fiber PoE switch because higher power application actually require higher power PoE. And last but not least, make sure you pull the fiber optic cable properly because it is made out of glass, so it's actually fragile. And we have to be careful if we pull the cable, make sure you pull it through a conduct. And here's a video on how to build a fiber optic network with a 90 watt PoE fiber switch. And thank you so much for watching us today and I'll see you next time.